Oh, hey guys. Hey, before we get started, I wanted to invite each and every one of you to an elite group. It's called Kip K's Notification Squad. Hundreds of you have emailed me saying, hey, I'm not getting your new videos. Well, here's how to make sure you do and become a member of the Notification Squad. Once you're subscribed, or if you're already a subscriber, click the little bell next to the subscribe button. It's the same thing for desktop. Once you subscribe or are already subscribed, click that same little bell. Then you'll get a little notification box that you need to click and click save. Now you'll never miss one of my videos. Thanks for joining. Now let's get into today's project. If you have a laptop or have a friend that does, you know those power jacks in the back become loose. And sometimes the slightest move of the laptop can pull that cord out. Well, here's a fix. For this one, you'll need a washer. Now it needs to be a little bit larger size washer where the inside hole will fit over the molded part of the power connector. It should fit a little snug, and if you don't have one, they're only about a nickel at your hardware store. Then you'll need a small earth magnet or neodymium magnet. As you probably know, these magnets have strong holding power. Now we'll start off using some super glue and we'll put a tiny dot on the magnet and then attach the magnet to the back case of the laptop right around where the power connector goes. Then you could try using super glue, but I found that hot glue works best for this next step. We're gonna do a ring of glue around the molding right where the washer is gonna go. Now it needs to be set back a little bit because the magnet is sticking out a little bit from the case and we wanna make sure we have a good connection. Once the hot glue is dry and the magnet is secure, plug in the cable. The click will let you know it's locked in nice and tight. Now this next one is pretty basic, but I like it. I have a nice set of speakers on top of a wooden bar that we have, and I don't want the metal base of the speakers to scratch the wood. So I'll be using one of my favorite DIY essentials, Sugru Moldable Glue. The folks over at Sugru wanted me to tell you about the Rebel Tech Kit. It's a great stocking stuffer for this upcoming holiday season. There's 14 brilliant ways to fix, hack, and improve your gadgets. Now, if you're running out of gifting ideas, the Rebel Tech Kit is the way to go. At only 15 bucks, you can't beat it. There's a link in the description where you can pick up the Rebel Tech Kit from Sugru, but I'm also gonna give away a few packages of these to my fans, so stay tuned. So to protect my nice hardwood bar, I'm gonna roll up four small balls of Sugru. After getting them pretty close to the same size, I flipped the speaker over and put them in each corner. Then I used a small ruler to flatten them down just a little bit and make them all even. And 24 hours later, the Sugru is stuck to the bottom of the speakers and turned into a durable silicone rubber that won't scratch the surface of my cabinet. Just about everybody who has a cell phone has a case for it to protect it. But I bet you didn't know that that cell phone case could also save the day. After popping your phone out of the case, just take an extra bill out of your wallet, fold it up, and put it inside the case. Now, if you're ever out and about and you run out of cash or forget to bring any, you'll remember that hidden cash inside your phone case, and that could save the day for you. I keep an inexpensive headset by my computer, but I never seem to have a place to put it. I'd like to have it handy right on the side of my monitor, but I don't want to go out and buy some plastic hooks. So for this one, I'm going to use Sugru again, this time the white version. I'll cut open the package and take the Sugru out and then start rolling it up into a small sausage shape. I'll keep rolling it and mold it into a little hook shape and then just stick it to the side of the monitor. Now it's gonna hold nicely and in 24 hours, it's gonna be stuck really well to the side of the monitor and it's a great place to hang my headset or some USB cables or even a pair of glasses. You can get creative with this and hang anything you need there. While I do have a case for my phone, I don't have a waterproof case. I know you can buy them, but in a pinch, here's a way to get some underwater shots by just using a large glass. Drop your cell phone upside down into the glass and then slowly lower the glass into the water. You can get some pretty cool underwater shots this way just by using a glass. My phone knew it was upside down and automatically flipped the video right side up and your phone will stay dry. And there's five new tech life hacks that you may have never seen. Okay, now to give away some Sugru. It's easy. 
Just post a comment on this video, hopefully a positive one, and I'll pick a few people and send you each a Rebel Tech Kit for the holidays. I'll contact you through your YouTube channel. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and for more cool hacks, click the box on the right. And to go to my channel, click the box on the left. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.